on this because you have several contributed modules on Drupal.org. I do. And this is one of them. Do you want this, to introduce sure. Introduce yourself and the, uh, the module. Yep. So, like Christopher said, I'm Elliot, uh, and I'm going to talk about this module I just wrote called Comment Publish. Um, so, how I got around here, I'm working on a site for uh, health healthcare providers and they're going to put listings about themselves up there and people are going to be allowed to leave testimonials or comments about the providers and we wanted the providers to be able to sort of police that on their own but we didn't want to give them the ability to delete stuff or edit stuff in case you know the the provider was being malicious <laughs> so uh, you know of course the first thing I did like most Drupal developers would do is go look on Drupal.org let's see what's out there and there's another module that's similar called user comment and it's pretty good it did most of what I needed uh, but it doesn't allow publishing of unpublished comments uh, and it doesn't uh, allow or it does allow you to edit and delete stuff if you give uh, users those permissions and so those are things I didn't need so I went ahead and built exactly what I needed uh, so the kind of overlay of the module is uh, there's permissions that give users the ability to publish or unpublish comments on their own content only uh, and users are not allowed to edit or delete those comments uh, and then using hook link there's an unpublished link uh, on every comment that's left on a user's piece of content uh, there's also views integration so that uh, you can create a custom moderation queue um, I needed this specifically because our uh, edit panel for the providers is, is uses panels, and I wanted to do wanted to put the moderation queue into a panel pane. Uh, and then there's also a default view uh, in case you don't use panels or whatever, or you don't know how to build a view. So that's there, uh, and I'll just show real quick kind of how this works. So here's the the unpublished link I was talking about on the piece of content, and so. We'll make this go away. It takes you to a confirmation page. And now it's gone. So now I can come back in as the owner of this content. And look, here's all the comments that are left here, that were left here. I want to put it back. Same form basically. Now it's back. So that's basically it. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, so quick question, the panel that it showed up in the edit form, mm -hmm. uh, that's something in addition that's extra though. That doesn't come with this module, right? The yeah, the panel pane doesn't um, I just used views panes mm -hmm. and just created a, a table view uh, of comments and then added the, the, the piece that comes with it is the link that's associated with a comment. So. Is this uh, now stable and released on Drupal.org? Uh, there is a release. It's in uh, like alpha though, because I haven't even released the site it's on, so I don't really have any real real world use other than what I've done in development. In Drupal six. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. One of the things I didn't like about user comment was that it adds a whole bunch of checkboxes to uh, user profiles on the user profile edit page that show. All the different content types that you can give your your visitors the ability to publish and unpublish comments on. Um, does does comments publish work around that? Does it does it support a similar feature? It's does it ignore that? I don't remember exactly how user comment did it, but uh, comment publish does it in in the admin permissions page where it's publish for this, unpublish for that. So there, there's a pair of publish and unpublish for each content type that you have. And that's on the admin. The admin. Yeah. Make it awesome. Yeah. Cool. Uh, who else? When are you launching the site? Uh, hopefully next month. And there'll be an official release next month too. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, just out of curiosity, um, after looking at user comments and then deciding, okay, I need to roll my own. How long did it kind of take you from conception to actually CVS uploading? Um, so probably two or three hours. It was pretty quick. It's a pretty simple module. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, it was, it was kind of a lot of cut and paste because I've done pieces of this kind of stuff in other modules. I've seen other people do pieces of this, so it's it was pretty fast. I think I spent more time trying to figure out if it was worth patching user comment mm -hmm. to do what I wanted. My next question. Yeah. <laughs> so. How long did it take for you to get a CBS account, or did you already have one? <laughs> I already had one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that answers that. Yeah, you just but said six months. yeah. So. Are you gonna come along to our uh, developer meetup and show us how to become a contributor? I can do that as long as my baby's not being born that day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Any other questions? No. Go. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.